hey guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great um so i'm back again with another video and i'm going to show you guys how to get this brazilian curly looking hairstyle for basically only ten dollars um a lot of these products that i'll be using you might already have but the ten dollars pertains to the hair that we're going to be using in this video so you can use any type of hair that you would like but for this video <laughs> For this video, I'm using the expression braiding hair in a color 1B. 1B is the closest to my hair color, so I'm using that. So the first thing I'm starting off by doing is just, you know, stretching out the hair just so that um, it's not blunt at the ends. I like to do this because it just looks better that way and this is how I grew up doing my hair with expressions braiding hair um, I also forgot to say I did cut the hair into three I don't know where that clip went but I folded the hair into three and cut it into three parts because I didn't want it too long I was going to be wearing this to work so I didn't want to have it too long and this is what the hair looks like after I've completely stretched it out which I didn't show so now I'm going to braid the hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by putting Cantu leave-in conditioner on the hair. Cantu shea butter leave-in conditioner is my favorite and I just like putting it on the, any type of hair because it makes it soft. And I'm just going to go ahead and braid the hair. When you're done, this is what the hair should look like. I put mine on rings just for convenience. And then I also dip them in hot water, which I didn't get to show because I did that in the bathroom. So what I'm doing now is I'm just making sure to moisturize my hair. Moisturizing hair is very important um, when you're putting it in any protective style, any style, or when you're manipulating it. Because if your hair is dry, it is prone to breakage. So you do want to moisturize your hair as much as possible so of course i'm using the canty leave-in conditioner y'all know this already that's my favorite leave-in conditioner it's also the only one i own that's like why it's my favorite but yeah so i'm dividing my hair into two sideways i'm just gonna section off the top portion and i'm trying to make sure the line is as neat as possible and I'm going to put my hair away and put it in a bun and just leave that section for now. So to make this braidless, what I'm doing is I'm just going to flat twist my hair. Flat twisting is so much faster and it just takes it just takes away all the stress of trying to braid my natural hair which is so hard and it takes me forever to braid my hair so flat twisting is the way to go and since we're crocheting it doesn't even matter because it won't show the hair is so full it will not show um your messy flat twist underneath so i'm just going to flat twist all the uh all the sections in the back and i think i did about eight sections so this is what the back of the hair looks like when I'm done with my flat twist. Of course, it's not the neatest, but it is what it is. So now I'm going to take my hair. This is what it looks like after it's been dipped in hot water. It's very uh, flowy. It moves very well. It's not as stiff. And I'm just going to take some of the hair, trying to make sure that it's not frizzy, um, and just crochet my hair. You guys are going to hate me, but my camera did not catch me filming um, my little crochet thing but if you're on this video i'm very sure you've seen a whole lot of crochet videos basically you put the crochet hook under your braid or flat twist in this case and you would hook the extension hair that you're using in the loop drag it back underneath and then just make little loops back and forth so you can knot it and then i also tied it in a knot at the end and I did that all over the back of my hair. Um, I'm so sorry that I didn't show you in this video, but I do have another video that shows that, so it will be down in the description bar below. So next, I'm moving on to the front part of my hair. So I'm taking my Eco Styler gel, um, and I'm just going to put that all around the front section of my hair. Just like you would apply a relaxer, my hair is really thick, so I can't just put it over the edges of my hair and expect it to lay flat. It won't, so I have to really 
saturate not really saturate but i do have to apply a lot of gel so my hair will slick down then i'm taking my gorilla snot for the finishing touch and i'm putting that all over the edges of my hair and the front sections not in between but around the edges and i'm combing that up to make sure it slicks down or brushing that up to make sure it slicks down and then i'm just gonna put my hair in a little bun and i'm gonna scarf it put a scarf on it just to help it to lay flat or to help it lay flat while i'm doing my makeup and just to help it dry faster i also blow dried it just a little bit not for too long probably did it for like 30 seconds so this is how my hair looks after I take it out of the uh, the scarf. You can see them waves rolling, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to use the remaining hair that I have and I'm going to put it around um, a hair packer, scrunchie, the, the thing. <laughs> and I'm knotting that around my hair as well as separating the braiding hair just so that you know it'll go around the bun and not show any of my hair and i want it to be as full and flawless looking as possible and then i just try to manipulate the bun and make sure that it just covers my hair and doesn't show but also looks natural so this is it guys this is the finished look oh yeah and then i put bobby pins so this is it guys this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up um yeah follow my social media um snapchat instagram and twitter and yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you and god bless bye